Hey everyone, it's your girl Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to bring to you guys a chit chat, get ready with me, expression review, swatch demo, and a small giveaway towards the end. So if you guys want to see all that, just stay tuned and keep watching. Alright, so the product that I'm using today, the main focus, is going to be eyes, which I'm using the Carly Bybel Deluxe Edition Palette with BH Cosmetics. I'm sure you guys have all seen this, heard of this. Um, and I finally did pick it up, and this is what we're using today, so just a quick look, all these shadows here, it comes with 21 shadows, and then, is it 4 or 6, 4, I'm gonna say 6 shadows, um, or highlights I mean, just because they have these 4 right here, and then there's these 2 big ones, which are pretty highlighting. Yeah, okay, so for the shadows, there's a lot of mattes, and then there's a couple like shimmery, um, what is the word, reflective colors, so all the colors that we love. The row of colors though that has been catching my eye, like I pretty much basically have been using these colors so far, is basically this row right here, like these mauves, plum colors, like, I just love those, and then just like of course transition shades and stuff like that, I've been using this one too a lot. Um, so I'll probably use those shades just because, I don't know, I just love those colors, especially on my eyes. This one right here, though, is a pretty, um, it's, I feel like it's a different kind of color because it's kind of like duochrome. I don't know if you guys can see. I'll give you guys better swatches in a little bit, but, um, yeah, these are just amazing, so. Um, as for the highlights, I like these two so far. Intense as fuck, so pigmented. Um, these ones are great, like yeah, like they're pigmented, but I feel like they're not really good for darker skin shades. I mean, because these two are very white, very light, so if you're fair, perfect. Um, these two, these can, <clears throat> can be used for dark skin, but I feel like I don't know. You can't use them individually on like one. Does that make sense? I guess how I'm trying to say is these are best used when you mix them. Which I guess is a good thing that you do have that option. Um, that's just one thing I noticed, which doesn't like it doesn't bother me. But I don't know if it'll bother anybody else. The palette itself is just like a, a tufted pillow. That's how it looks. That's not how it. It's not a pillow. But it's just got like that design white sleek um very much carly's style inside same thing just the marble and then the good thing is that it has a mirror the palette overall itself is pretty warm um i will mention though that i've already like used it i've had this for maybe like a week and a half two weeks now and i've used it a little bit not a lot because i know that i wanted to do this video um so i've just touched into pretty much just this row right here and right now the retail price is 22.50 at ulta that is where i found mine okay let's go ahead and get into this should i do eyes first or face first i think we do face first it's gonna clip back my hair do you have my real technique sponge already damp and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some primer today and I'm gonna use the model's own face base face primer. It's supposed to be a mattifying primer and it's oil-free, fragrance-free, and it's a silicone-based primer. So far, this primer I do like. I just feel like the pump sucks ass because it doesn't go all the way down into like the whole product. It's just like right there, which As you can see, I'm already having trouble, and this entire bottle is full of product. So. Alright, I'm going to take two foundations and mix them together. I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, and then the Naked 
the naked the urban decay naked skin foundation together this if okay if you guys watch me consistently or like my makeup tutorials you guys know this is not a lot of foundation for me and it's kind of freaking me out because i usually go in with like lots of foundation but i don't know try to keep it min minimal yeah minimal 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 Alright, so I'm going to just do a little bit of bronzing. I'm just going to take a mixture of these shades with my BH brush. And... Yeah. My cream contour, for some reason, came out a little bit blotchy today. I think it's because my sponge wasn't fully cleaned. I don't even know, to be honest, but... I'm going to put some bronzer down my neck. I've really been liking this brush lately. I feel like it gets right into the hollows. You guys know that I usually, usually, I usually like this just because of the shape. Like I feel like that also gets pretty good. But I don't know, I've been liking really precise contour lately. So I'm just gonna use this one. Make sure of these two. I'm gonna go ahead and move into the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into this palette. And I did get new brushes and a new eyeliner that I'm going to try today for the first time. So you guys get a little mini first impression. Um, the, two, ugh, the two brushes are from It Cosmetics. If I can just get them out of this packaging, I don't understand. First one is the It Cosmetics um, Love Beautifully brush. Is there a number? This is the number 220 the small shadow brush i thought this would be perfect for like getting right into my under eyes or even on the outer crease because i don't really have a brush quite like this one i, I mean i got some from elf but um i know i thought why the hell not and then i just got the brush this is the airbrush blending brush number 107 and it's just a basic blending brush i that's like my favorite eyeshadow brush i buy or ours is blending brushes i just love trying different blending brushes like obviously i just love blending brushes so anyways so i guess i'll just be basic and start like anybody else would with a transition shade in my crease all i have is my polka dot washi tape so that's what i'm using <laughs> Um, this brush kind of seems a little bit more stiff than I like, but I'm just going to go with it. And right away I can tell you that these eyeshadows are on the powdery side. It feels like I'm blending nothing, that's how soft these bristles are. Now I'm going to go ahead and start taking... Should I take it? This color? My brush into that color. And right into my crease. Alright, so from this row right here, the third row, I'm taking the top and the bottom shade. Just a mixture of those two. And again, into the crease. And now I'm taking this deep berry shade on the brush and then right here in the outer V I'm just filling in that entire space ooh that shadow can you guys see this very good or not I'm just going to take the deepest brown, just a tiny bit of this, just right here on the lash line, and then I'm taking these two right here because they're very, oh wait, <laughs> these two, ooh, and now I'm just going to go in and touch up some of this shadow right here. I want to make my outer bead deeper. So I'm taking the brown, the deepest brown, brown, <laughs> and I'm gonna use that. Okay, 
liquid eyeliner, I'm just gonna create a wing and hope it comes out right. Sometimes when I do the tape method, like it just creases a lot, so. And that was right. Alright, and then just for the bottom lash line, I'm just gonna basically just use the same colors. Let's see, we'll go with some of this brown. That was actually a lot. I think I want to go in with one of the reflective shades. This one right here that I put on my lip, but just this one. I think I'm gonna take it, let me see, just right here. Okay, so as you can see, I already have one lash on, and then, then, and I'm putting on the Ardell Double Up Lash. Okay, so now I just need to finish. I'm gonna do some blush, and for my blush, I'm gonna take the Regal Wardrobe Palette, and I'm taking the blush, the Love Letter, in it. And I usually like to focus blush on my apples. I feel like that just looks best for me, but I could be wrong, but I mean, fuck it. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use highlight in this palette. I'm gonna take these two right here, right here in my inner corner. Big bow. And then right here on my nose. And then blend my little dot. Ooh, bitch, look at that highlight, though. Okay, so I just lined my lips really quickly, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu lip, lip thingy in Rebel Rose. And I did do a full video lip swatch on every single shade, I think, but one in the entire collection. If you guys wanna see that, I'll link it below. I think I'm gonna add a tiny bit of this berry, nice to fuchsia, right here. I love it so much. I love it so much. These lashes are giving me life. Like these lashes. And just the colors in the palette. Alright, guys, now we're gonna get to the most exciting part of this video. I know we love makeup, and I love makeup, I love doing my makeup, I like that you guys like watching me make, make, I can't speak today, like, I feel like I can never fucking speak, this is why I make videos in my room, alone, and I don't go out in public and talk, because Sierra just can't do it, anyways, <laughs> um, overall, I just want to say that I like this palette, I've been using this palette recently, the colors are nice and they're blendable, they're pigmented, they're beautiful, like, um, you know, the only thing I feel is that other than this row right here, I have pretty much shades like this in my collection. So it's not like a palette that like, oh my god, you need, you're gonna die for, live and breathe this palette because likely, it's likely that you have shades like this, you know? But um, I think that the reason why we buy things like this that we already kind of have is because of the fact that it's like Carly Bybell, like it's, I don't know, it's like people we watch camera cut me out that's nice um i don't even remember saying i think i was saying how like i don't even know overall i don't have any negatives other than i was saying like it's not a negative um it's just something to think about how these right here can be like mixed and matched according to your skin color skin tone and stuff like that drum roll please i'm just kidding um i'm doing a giveaway yet again another giveaway and the reason why I wanted to do this is just because I like, I don't know, I like doing giveaways. I liked my last giveaway and I actually like doing swatch videos just because it's fun. Like I like doing these mini giveaways and I'm going to do them more often. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of things I should give away, like different palettes or maybe like brush lines, lip lines, um, anything like that. Like I love doing that. And yeah, so this is the second giveaway on my channel. 
and it's gonna basically run the same way that I did it last time it's gonna run until I get 300 subscribers once I get 300 subscribers I'm picking the winner and then I'm gonna contact you and get your information and ship it out this time around I'm gonna make it international just because I feel like um, this kind of giveaway I'm trying to bring in people so I'm trying to bring in people from everywhere now this is your palette this one's mine and then it just comes like in a slide so I won't be touching this, this one is yours, whoever wins this. Um, basically how it is, is 18 or older, if you are younger than 18, just ask your parents, let them know like, hey, I'm gonna enter a giveaway, so you know, just in case I win, we might get a package sent to the house. Yeah, so other than that, that's like basically pretty much the only rules, I just want you to make sure you have permission, or you're 18, don't be rude, don't be mean, like I don't want any of that, don't be petty, don't enter a million times, because I'm probably just gonna get annoyed and like disqualify you. So the way that you're going to enter is only three steps, simple. You can do more if you want to, it's not going to give you more chances. It'll probably make me notice you, um, but this is how we're going to do it. So first, you're going to comment. The only way that I'm going to pick a winner is from my comments. So you can do everything else, but if you do not comment, you're not going to win. I'm sorry guys, it's just like that's how I'm doing it, that's how you're going to enter. Like, Not all of my subscribers are entering this, Like, not everybody watches my videos, you know? So comment on the video i don't care what you well, well okay i do kind of care don't be mean don't be rude say something nice i don't know talk about the eyeshadows I, I don't know be cute tell me about your boyfriend like i don't care just leave a comment below like a comment just comment on this video not on my other videos this video because this is where the giveaway is happening second one be a subscriber simple as that click the button subscribe to my channel Third rule or way to enter third rule is to share the video um obviously we want to reach 300 subscribers so we need to get this video out there and i need your guys' help so in order to do that to end the giveaway as soon as possible we need to share the video get it out there get people coming to my channel subscribing entering the giveaway and then you know that's how it goes so just comment subscribe and share this video and then you know once we get 300 subscribers I will pick a winner from the comments below and you'll be getting this and then um, I think this would be helpful um, you don't have to but I do think it'd be helpful if you leave in your comment leave like an Instagram name or Twitter name or whatever you're on Facebook whatever it might be that way it can get onto that just because I feel like YouTube the way the messages work is you don't get a notification when you get a message so you'd have to go back to your messages like every day after you know the 300 subscribers to see if you won um or you know so like i think it'd just be a lot easier if you did leave like an instagram handle or something like that that way i can just like what i do pick i can just go to your handle and dm you and it'll be that much easier but you don't have to it's just a suggestion i'd appreciate it and make it a lot easier to choose anyways <clears throat> I hope you guys like the video and I hope you guys like the giveaway prize. It's a little some some. I don't, you know, I made a dollar bills, but I try. <laughs> Anyways, let me know, guys, what else you guys want to see. If there's any lines, collections, I don't know, like, just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you guys all for the love and support. I appreciate you so much.